Well, how do the chums? I'm back in Starfield and we've only got one more planet in this system to scan before we can end off this playlist. And that planet is Androphon. Let's jump on over into game so I can make it a little bit larger. We're going to be scanning this planet, I guess. OK, there's five resources to be found here and probably multiple biomes. OK, so we're going to go to mountains first, people. Is this the light side of the planet? It's hard to say. I think this is the light side of the planet. we go here then. Okay, mountains there then. Let's see if we can get it on the cusp of a mountain. What's this, this white area? There's still mountains. Okay, well, we go where there's a resource, hey? Actually, let's go slap bang in the middle there in that little chasm. Let's go there then. All right, mountains it is. Sweet. Okay, I was hoping to see one of my photos there. That's not one of my photos. That's not a photo of mine. Like there. Like touching down on a cloud. Your landing skills never cease to increase. Well, thanking you, I guess. Yeah, it took me quite a few times to pass my landing testing, to be fair. Right, let's get on out then. Oh, I've put my uh, little sidekick in a different set of armor. I mean, look at him now. Look, he looks freaking spiffing, doesn't he? Looks like a bad guy from Starcom. Heck yeah. Come on, mate. Let's go. I don't know what Starcom is. They were these little figures with magnets in their feet. They were freaking awesome. Used to love Starcom back in the day, people. Right, so there's a building over there. What sort of building is it? It's just going to say structure, isn't it? We could go inside of that structure. There's another structure over there. Okay. OK, well, we've got our first resource there. Let's go scan that. I should be able to scan that at 40 metres now because I've upgraded my level. Boom! We can! Ha! -ha! Awesome. Is there any sort of um, anything other than bloody structures around, mate? OK, there's lots of structures on this planet, isn't there? OK, we've got some resources. We've got some iron. Iron, iron, any old iron. Boom! We've got that scanned. So we're two of five done. Now, there's nothing interesting here other than buildings. We're going to head to this one, because I think this is a scientific building. It looks like a chemical structure on it anyway, people. So we'd head there. Thank you. If I come across any more resources, I'll be sure to let you know before I scan them. Yeah. Hey, would you look at this, chums? There's two little rocks nested right next to each other. Scan. Scan. Heck yes, four or five. Oh, I thought there was another one just there, but it went green. So it obviously shares kinship with another rock. Heck yes, quantum entanglement. Right, let's keep going. Right, eh? well, we've arrived, Kated, at this La Cassione, And um, there doesn't seem to be much going on here. I don't think there's much chance of me getting ammo. But then again, there are some lootable areas here, people. There is a cave over there, one mineral short. We could always go check the inside of a cave to see if we can find our last remaining mineral or resource, whatever you want to call it. Right, this seems to be quite a nice big... OK. No, fine. Is that all that's here? I mean, OK, fine. I was hoping for some sort of scientific structure, you know? There are harvesters over there. I doubt they're going to have anything in for me. There's these little things over here. Look, there's a few more resources scattered around the base of here. Oh, look, there's a point of interest all the way over there. Sweet. OK, well, let's give that a little scan. A natural resource of that. OK, well, there's no points of interest to actually discover here, but that might be the last mineral as well. So if the cave doesn't give sort of any sort of fruit, then hopefully... We can go to that next structure over there. It's in the same sort of line of sort of travel, isn't it? OK, that's a green one. Yeah, OK, well, I'll see you inside the cave, peeps. OK, chums, I'm inside of the cave. We need to turn on our old torch. There we go. Let's bring up the scanner. Let's see if we can see anything inside this cave that might be the final resource that we're after. OK, I've not seen anything as yet. There's mainly the resources that we've already got, people. Yeah, we're in a cave, I guess. Yeah, let's go through this way then. I think I've had a cave with a similar layout before. Uh, well, it seems it. I could be wrong. I mean, one cave does look like another cave naturally, doesn't it? Yeah, but look, it's kind of like a little mini dead end in here, I think. Yeah, we're going to probably be going back out on ourselves now, people. So, yeah, it's... The resource that I'm after is not in this cave, by the looks of things, peeps. All right. Well, 
I'm a little bit lost now, so I'll try and find my way back out, but I can get lost in a freaking car park that's a single story, people, so this could be fun. Oh, hold on, there's a marker there. There we go. We'll just go out, peeps. I don't think it's got the final resource in it. We'll head on over to that point of interest and we'll see how we do. Well, people, I think I've spotted the last resource before we got to that point of interest. I mean, I still want to know what's at that point of interest, but there we go. There's a bit of aluminium. Now, I do need aluminium, and I need iron to make my steel frames. I don't think this planet has got iron, though. It, oh, hold on. It has got iron. Look, it's got a big freaking stack of it right in the ground just there. So, yeah, to make the iron frames that I need... To make my sort of storage silos for my base in this system, which I'll show you my base in this system as a last episode to this playlist. I know it's not scanning planets or anything, but I might as well put down, if I've done anything interesting in the system, just to cap off the playlist, I think I'd, um, I'd do one little final episode of anything that I've found interesting of ought inside of a system. This might be another good planet to put a base on, since it's got aluminium and iron. If I could find a location, to put down a base in between the two resource deposits, that'd be freaking epic. So I might have to come down and put down another base in this same system. Or delete my other base. Don't know. I have to make my mind up on that one. Okay, jumps we've arrived. It says covered crater. There's some helium free there as well. Okay. Don't think I'm gonna be able to mine that. But look at this. A little covered crater, isn't that cool? Phantasmondo! Oh Europium. That's actually worth quite a lot of units. Heck yes. Okay, well, we've got a nice little cave. All right, well, that was kind of nice to come down here and have a look, see what we've got. What's this rock pile all about, then? What are we going to find here? Oh, lead and aluminium times nine. Heck yes. That's pretty good. Oh, some more europium. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I'm not going to be over-encumbered. Hopefully, I can fast travel back to my shippity ship. Oh, what are you down there? Silver. Okay, we'll have that, too, then. Come on, hopefully I'm not over-encumbered. Yes, we can travel back. This is good, of course. I found a gift. I hope it's worthy of your gaze. A gift worthy of my gaze, you say? I don't know what you've found, but... Yeah. He keeps saying this, but he doesn't actually give me anything. And when I talk to him... Oh. Hold on. Where are we going? Let, yes, let's, let's see. Trading with one's companion is a holy ritual so what's this gift you've got then mate because the only thing you've got are the, the things i bloody gave you so um yeah you've got nothing you've got nothing <laughs> all right go cool. do you have something interesting for me i do this object reminded me of how well oh, we you go. relate to everyday people you're just like the rest of us only better <laughs> <laughs> okay oh what did he give me I don't know what... I was looking away from the screen because I was cringing too much. Oh, for fudge's sake. All right. Well, thank Being you. Being part of your crew is just the best. Well, thank you. It's nice to have you here too. You do warm in my day, even though it's it's kind of cringy. 99% of the time. Okay. <laughs> let's go over here then. And uh, I might as well offset my resources. So here we are. Let's just put all my resources in here. This is my inventory now. Resources nine. And we'll just put all that into my ship inventory. Hopefully, when I get to the workbench... Hold on, what's that? Container is at max capacity. Is it really? Oh, okay. All right, fine. Well, if I go back to the frontier, then, um, and go back into uh, resources, maybe if I take the aluminium, and maybe if I take all of the... Oh, what was it? What's the other thing? Iron. I need iron. Hopefully I can make storage containers for my base by making a load of those hard frames. And I think I need to do that at the workbench back at the lodge. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm just making this stuff up as I go along. I've not watched many guides on this sort of thing. So I'll put all that inside the storage for now. I'll just take the aluminium and iron. And I'm hoping I can craft a work... Oh, there's a workbench already there. So I'm hoping to use that. And I'm hoping to improve my outpost by next episode. Otherwise, next episode, it could be me at a fairly shite base. Um, I mean, it's my first attempt at an outpost, people. So I'll see you for that. And that's kind of the end of this system. Let's have, let's have a look at the old system. Let's make sure we have 100%ed it. So if I zoom out now, it still says 93%.
Why does it say 93%? Okay, 100% surveyed. All right, well, I can't find surveyed. the one that I haven't. I've 100% surveyed every freaking critter. I've done it all. Okay, it might take me a while to spot what I'm missing, people. I'll have a little butchers with my eye peepers and see if I can find out. I won't be a moment. Well, I'll do the chums. Right, well, it's fair toad time again. I never really took a couple on this planet. I mean, it wasn't a very big planet because it was a moon. It was a freaking moon, I think. Was it a moon? It was a moon. There you go. I took this picture of me, sort of airborne. And there we go. We've done it again with those sort of like little markups on. I, don't know, I was toying with either using one or the other for my thumbnail. But then I took this picture and I was like, wow, that one's freaking epic. That one's probably going to be my thumbnail picture there, people. I might have to decrease the brightness a bit. It's a bit washed out in places. But lovely jubbly. That's the only pictures I took this time. I hope you enjoyed my pictures. Thank you, guys, people. Oh, would you look at that? Where I am on the screen, look, there's one that was hiding behind me. We've got, we've got a whole bloody planet to do. Planet Cruff. Completely missed Planet Cruff. We've got one more episode, then the out, outpost episode, people. Mind blown. Okay, I found it. Cool. At least I'm not going mad. But this has got five resources upon it and uh, no fauna, no flora. Okay, fun times. Until next time, people. We're going to Planet Cruft next time. Yes, Cruft is also a dog show here in the UK. Bye.